Here we're going to take a look at something called tandem repeats. So it turns out when you're looking at DNA sequences of any individual, if you look hard enough, eventually you start to find these repeating patterns. Uh, two nucleotide repeats, AC, 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 it's called a dimeric. Uh, if you have four letters that are repeating over and over again, gata, 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 that's a four base, pe uh, four base repeat, it's tetrameric. Um, they're called tandem repeats, and there is some importance related to them, and they're useful for us for biotechnology. So found in human genomes and in other species as well, too. Uh, I've just mentioned it's a sequence of DNA with repeating patterns. We've only shown uh, two letters repeating or four letters repeating, but there can be 60 bases or more kind of repeating as well, too. The number of repeat variations that people have uh, varies, and no two individuals have the exact same patterns of the number of repeats. You know, in your genome, there probably is a section that has a bunch of AC, AC, ACs, in mine as well, too. But the locations of these may vary, and the length of them may vary as well, too. So this actually makes people kind of unique, and we can use that to our advantage. If you've seen something like this in your biotechnology unit, then you understand that you can kind of compare DNA from different people. Uh, this is crime scene data. This is sus suspect one, suspect two, suspect three. It can also be used in paternity tests. So it turns out the DNA that we chop up to make these bands and separate them by gel electrophoresis actually comes from these repeats because everyone is kind of unique with all of this. So the main thing is that everyone ends up with a different combination of these types of repeats unless you're identical twins. So you want to watch out for that.